Well, good morning, and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today you're gonna get a vlog because that's all I got. <laughs> I'm gonna come home in the middle of the day. I've gotta work early. I gotta get my button gear. I have to be to work early, and I have to be uh, back home. Uh, and then I have to go back and I have to work late. So it's a big day for me. And we're at 59 days for Miss Shotsy do. But she ate all of her breakfast, so I think we're good to go. Nope, you're not getting any of the chicken treats. Um, okay, I gotta get the chickens fed before I leave. It's so beautiful out this morning. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I wanted to go over a couple of things today, some of which I'm gonna go over in the car on the way to work. So um, I promise I'll wear my seatbelt and use all the safety <laughs> regulations. It's no different than talking to somebody next to you. Hi. Okay, girlies. Oh my goodness, they're looking at the camera like, what the heck has she got? Hi. Hi, girlies. Okay, let's see. Want to bonk anybody on the head? You don't need them, right? Okay. So they got an apple, part of an apple, some organic bread that I bought for Michael. And we're not, we don't really eat bread. I, I had um, made him some sandwiches, but seriously, I got it back on the low carb tortillas. So we've got mealworms, and they love them. A little bit of oats. A little bit of scratch. And there we go. You girlies, and the water's full. Lucy here is getting ready to start laying an egg. I expect an egg any day. And they've been using the bigger coop. Um, they've been going in there. I don't see any eggs though. One of them was up top the other day up here because there's nesting and a roosting bar. Um, one of them was up there the other day, but. Um, anyway, still use it more this winter, I think. Okay, now I don't have time to water, and I should, but I'll do that when I come home in the middle of the day. And but everything's looking fantastic. Look, this this garden bed finally looks like it's gonna produce something. I've got a cluster of flowers on that one tomato plant, the biggest one. The beans are doing good at that end. The celery is doing awesome. I'm super happy. And the chickens will have to wait for their kale for later. <laughs> they get kale every day. Those kale plants produce enough for five chickens to have kale every day. So, and kale will winter through. I mean, you can kind of keep kale almost all winter. Okay. Shotzi, you, my dear, are coming with me. You're going to stay in the house, okay? Come on. Come on, Miss Doozer. Okay. So I'm not going to add this onto the Friday vlog because I want to get some feedback from you guys. As you know, I became a Thrive Life consultant and I absolutely love the stuff. Um, I've got a few things that I want to chat about, but let's go get in the car and I'll, um, I'll chat with you. Okay. Okay guys, we're back. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to address because I'm getting tons of questions and I've had phone calls and, um, and I'm happy to address it. So I thought this would be the easiest way because there is some confusion and I actually was a little confused because I'm new at the consulting thing. Thrive Life just came out with what they call the simple plate and that can be compared to when you uh, order online like a blue plate or any of those where you get home deliveries of dinners that you put together. Now, so many times you have to chop up the stuff. You have to um, add extra things to it and you have to use it within a certain amount of time. And then you have a, a huge amount of stuff to have to get to the recycler. And I don't know about you, but we're limited on our recycle space and you know, or we get charged for it. And so, um, I, they replace that with a Thrive Life meal that you, you can choose which meals you want. Um, it comes in a box. The most steps I've ever seen is like six steps. And literally the only extra thing you might need to add would be oil or a condiment if you wanted, you know, like let's say you like hot sauce on your pizza or pepper flakes or whatever. That's, that's all I'm saying. 
but you cannot go online and purchase a simple plate or even look at them without becoming a, and activating a subscription, which means you're gonna activate that you want home deliveries. The minimum amount is $25 a month. Now, $25 a month is pretty easy to be able to stock your pantry with things you use a lot of. Let's say you use a lot of mushrooms or celery, and those are things that normally would go bad in your refrigerator. So one month you buy celery and mushrooms, and that'll last you a couple months. Or, you know, the pantry cans that last you a month. Um, or let's say you need bouillon one month. I mean, it's pretty easy to fill a $25 a month order, and then you're your simple plate then becomes available to you. You can go ahead and set it up for two or four people and pick out your meals. And the nice thing is they don't spoil on you. If you decide, well, I don't want to have uh, gnocchi or pizza that week, they're good for three months. So you've got a lot of flexibility there. They make it easy on a weeknight. Nothing takes more than 20 or 30 minutes except for the pizza if, if you include the rise time on the dough because it is a homemade dough super easy though anybody can do it kids can make these meals so I wanted to clarify that and I wanted to thank all my new consultants that have hopped on board underneath me and I can't wait till you get your kits and um, and then those of you that also have uh, you know, signed on with the grocery deliveries, and um, I'm excited to hear all the feedback. There's not one thing that I do not like yet. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Now I have another order coming, and just by being a consultant for less than a week, is it less than a week? Yeah. So, I mean, it might be working on a week. Um. I, got, I earned, not only have I earned cash money, but I've earned bonuses to pay for my website. Website's free, it's only $10 a month anyways, but free. Um, I also earned uh, free groceries to use any way I want. So I used part of my free groceries uh, and ordered some stuff that I really wanted. I think I ordered the ground beef, the sausage crumbles, um, I got an order yesterday of some more celery because we go through a lot of celery and the celery is fantastic. Uh, celery, what else did I order? I ordered the cube chicken. I want to I wanna see the difference between the cube chicken and the seasoned ch chunked chicken because the cube chicken doesn't have any salt added. There's a little bit of sodium, not much added to the um, the other chicken. It's already seasoned. But I thought the chopped chicken for, let's say, chicken tacos or something like that would be fantastic. So I'm probably going to try that out tonight with my chili verde um, salsa that I made. And we're going to have tacos. And then, let's see, uh, I ordered three things there. The shredded beef, the chicken, and celery. And then um, on my next order, I've got a few more things coming that I can try. So, I'm excited to bring this to you guys. I know you guys are all excited, and please feel free to um, you can go back in and edit if you got you signed up for a subscription, but you didn't, um, you know, didn't commit to a number. If you're not ready to order, that's fine. Um, you know, you shop around for a while. They come out with new products all the time. Plus, they have about six sales a month where you can get 30% off. But the other benefit of being a consultant is I also, not only did I earn free groceries, I earned $300 worth of half-off groceries. Or half-off, um, I believe you could buy anything. You could buy the storage racks, you could buy any kind of stuff like that. So, I'm working on going to do a uh, party at work for the girls, so I'm gonna make up some stuff and bring it in and let them get a taste of everything. And then I am, I need to order some order forms and that kind of stuff so they can order. Otherwise, I'll have to walk them through it. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm super excited and I'm excited to bring you something that I believe in. I would not endorse something that I did not believe in or did not honestly fit into our lifestyle and our um, 
food storage rotation and it totally does. I, in the past, I bought Honey Bill and a lot of the stuff still haven't opened it because I strictly bought it for long term. But the way Thrive is set up and the way Thrive's, uh, the, the way it's set up and the way they made it is they want you to work it into your everyday food. So anyways, I hope you guys will enjoy um, your journey with me on Thrive. And those of you that do not care for it or think I'm trying to sell you something, I don't want you to buy anything you don't want to buy. But I'm certainly not going to deprive the people that are interested because there's a lot of interest in that and there always has been on my channel. So anyway, whenever I've used something, where did you get that? Who, how much was it? You know, so I'm just bringing you the information you do with what you will. And um, we're going to get on with the rest of our day. It's going to be 88 here today and um, partly cloudy, I think. We've got a little bit of sunshine, but it's burning through this smoke that we're surrounded by again. So I didn't walk this morning. First off, it's too early. I didn't have time. I mean, we got up and had to hit the floor running. Um, we are hoping that Shotzi waits till this weekend for the pups. The last time she had puppies, she had them on this day. But I know she's not going to have them today because she ate a pig breakfast and was looking for more. And last time she wouldn't even take a piece of chicken from your hand that morning before she started labor like 12 hours later and her temperature is normal when a dog is within 12 to 24 hours before they go into labor and hard labor their temperature drops from 101 down to like 98 so that's normal this morning and I'll just keep tabs on her I'll check on her when I get home and um She'll make it through today. She'll be fine. I mean, if I had to, I would cancel clients, but I know she's going to have a little bit of labor time, and uh, she'll she'll do just fine. <sighs> and I'd have time to be home for it. So that's going on. That's exciting. And I'm getting ready for my daughter to come. Uh, my husband's uncle and aunt are coming back to spend the night this weekend. And so we're going to have a family dinner on Saturday. And what else? Got to see an old friend last night that we've known since Michael and I met. and Or, well, he knew him before then. They were roommates when we met. And it was his birthday last night. And so we surprised him and showed up to his birthday party. <laughs> it was great. It was awesome. I ate Mexican food and I'm two pounds up. Dang it. So, I shouldn't have ate that late. And I, I, even though I didn't drink anything, I think you... I don't know, when you're not used to eating that kind of stuff, you retain water and all kinds of stuff. So today for lunch is a half an avocado and a pile of tomatoes out of my garden. And I'll be happy. A little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So I guess I'll vlog a little more when I get home and then we'll wrap this up. And I'm sorry that you're getting a vlog today, but I, gosh, I don't know what else. I, I can try to do the chicken tacos tonight, but that will be for a video tomorrow. All right? All right, guys. Oh, we'll see you later. Okay, guys. So, I'm home on my break. I've done dishes. Here comes Shotzi. Here comes Miss Rotundus. <laughs> Poor thing. Look at that baby belly. Whoa, yeah. That, is, that doesn't even show how big it really is. In reality, it's a big belly. Big belly full of baby deuce. <laughs> Anyways, um... I'm home on my break. It's partly cloudy, like I said it was going to be, but I have got to water, so I'm going to water. Some of these plants need it, and some of them don't. Um, I want to get this done, because I'll get home later tonight, and oh my gosh. So I was asked today what the difference was, and I think I've been asked twice, what the difference was between Honeyville and Thrive Life. And I'm just going to tell you, the taste, I, I opened up a couple of things that I've been kind of saving for long-term storage. Um, I'm glad I opened it, and I don't have to depend on that from Honeyville because it was not good. I did a side-by-side -side taste test with Honeyville's um, instant potatoes, and... Um, 
course, I don't like TBP, so everything I ever bought TBP-wise is going in the garbage, and or already has. I threw one away. And they're all getting close to being 10 years old anyway, so I think that's the shelf life for TBP. And uh, textured vegetable protein, not my, not my favorite. I'd rather spend the money and limit the amount of protein meat-wise. If I need a protein and I can't have meat, I want beans. Um, that's just me, but anyhow, um, so somebody asked me the difference. I'm just going to tell you, Honeyville doesn't offer a consultant program. And if you just want to join, um, and be a consultant to get a big discount, that's not the way it works. It only really works if you work the business as far as Thrive Life is concerned. So hopping on to get the discount because you order... $70 a month, it's not going to help you enough to make it worth your while. And I'm glad they set it up that way. Um, I also, what else was I asked? Oh, people are having trouble nav navigating the website Find the Simple Plate. Unless you've signed up for a uh, grocery, like I said earlier, you can't get it. But if you go on to the home page of the website, there is a choices across the top and where it says our plan there's a drop down thing there and you can see um, what everything you know what everything's all about so anyway a customer just texted me I just saw it pop up on the screen so I'm gonna see what that's all about it looks like somebody's canceling an appointment and oh my gosh my garden is just exploding and then the other thing i i kind of wanted to go over okay so i made uh herbed mashed potatoes from uh thrive mashed potatoes and it's potato flakes which those have a multi-purpose use and i'll show you that when i do well yeah they're multi-purpose I made up a batch, uh, just a small batch of herbed mashed potatoes because tomorrow night I'm going to make gnocchi. And so I thought, well, I might as well make the potatoes up and see how they taste against these potato pearls, I think they were called. Night and day. And the ingredients list on Thrive is potatoes. Imagine that. <laughs> anyway, they're really good, really tasty, and uh, I love them. Let's see, um, get my stuff watered here. I gotta go get the girly something. These flowers haven't had water in a couple of days, other than rain. But, oh my goodness, what are you guys having for dinner tonight? We are gonna have tacos because um, I made that chili verde salsa. I'm gonna make, I've got canned. Um, pork butt that I canned last year, I think. And it's just plain. No seasoning, nothing. So we're going to use that and make some tacos. And uh, I believe that's what we're having for dinner. And oh, and some homemade refried beans from my home canned beans. And so I'll try to videotape that so you guys see how easy it is to prep a dinner from food storage slash yeah pantry <laughs> and the next two days actually are going to be um, food storage slash pantry meals because the gnocchi is going to be from Thrive Life um, I think I'm doing most of it from Thrive I might do yeah I am the whole meal is going to be from Thrive Life and I know a lot of you have been asking for recipes and this is just something you can make up and use okay i have the weirdest green beans i've ever seen in my life here and i know i remember buying them but i had no idea i'm just gonna say <laughs> these look at these this is the bean look at how long that is it's a red green bean the flowers are really odd looking i don't know if you can see that that's the flower the bees are very much attracted to them. But look at that green bean. Now I want to pick one and taste it. 
This one isn't very long. Maybe I'll just take that. Okay, so green bean. Hmm. Not sure. It's green on the inside. It's got a very good flavor. It's not your normal green bean flavor, though. That's the weirdest green bean I've ever seen. These are red green beans. I don't know if you guys were along for that planting, but they're over here. At first I looked at them, I thought, oh my gosh, this plant is growing something really weird. Look at that. That is too weird. And look at the bees. Love them. Oh, he moved. I just had a bee on there. but And we might have... Maybe we'll have a side of green beans tomorrow night. I don't know. But we are having a very Italian, Tuscany dish with the gnocchi. And um, maybe, maybe gnocchi isn't Tuscan. But it's all going to be Thrive Life. So... Hopefully you, guys, you stay tuned for that. I'm going to let you go for today. And I'm glad that you came along. I'm trying to answer some questions. Um, all of you that have contacted me through email, and I've emailed you back, you're totally welcome to call me. And I would love to answer any questions that you might have. And um, as soon as I can get my simple plate boxes, you, um, I will get you in there. And anybody that's interested in the simple plate, when you go to the Thrive Life um, website, when you go to my website, you're going to, it should have it on the front page, but they're not really doing that. And you should have that drop down. Let me see if I can find it for you. <clears throat> Let's see what this says. Here we go. Meal plans. Um, so you should have, I mean, it should be right there like that, but go click on Thrive Life and um, that should pop up at being on your home page. But sometimes it does not. And if you look here, it says our plan. Um, and then you can hit simple plate and you can read all about it and how to set it up, any questions you might have. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, it's hard to navigate through the new website. It's all brand new. So they're working out all the kinks and I hope you guys are patient. We're here to help. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow for another mm, delicious recipe because like tonight, and you guys watch my um, birthday salsa recipe. Yep, canned pork 2015. This is just plain canned pork. Uh, pinto beans, nice pintos that I can not too long ago, let's see, in June. Those will make refried beans and we'll have um, pulled pork tacos. I've got cabbage and limes and it's gonna be good. And I'm gonna mix the pork meat with the verde salsa and then we'll have a little bit on the side. So a little bit of sour cream. Yeah, who doesn't want some of that? All right guys, we'll see you tomorrow for another mm, delicious recipe. I can't wait. <laughs>